our Jade Druid versus Raza Priest matchup. So that one, that one, I think actually happened at one point. Like this is this is a matchup that the players could even have some familiarity on. Yeah. Uh, with how the the matchup goes. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, so here is the deck list. We saw Flying Kraken a couple games ago playing that Jade Shaman, and now we're gonna see him on this uh, Jade Druid. Of course, you got things like the swipes and some of these other minions and, of course, the ramp to kind of help get you to things. I love this one of mind control tech. I don't think the Raza Priest is going to be the matchup where this MCT is going to come down. But, you know, that's <laughs> that's besides the point. Uh, and then, of course, Azalea playing this 2018 Raza Priest. So for those who may not uh, know about this, can you give us a breakdown of what the Raza Priest did, Ron? Uh, yeah, it, it pinged your face a lot. It was a machine <laughs> yes. gun. So based on th what this deck is trying to do is play Raza early as possible on curve, like play it on turn five, make your hero power cost zero, and then get to the turn eight with Shadow Reaper Anduin. Um, it also has a, an effect, a defensive effect, to clear out minions with five or more attack, but that's not the real important thing with it. The important thing is changing your hero power to deal two damage. And when you play a card, you refresh it, so you play it again. This one might be one of the closest ones that, uh, that we can see, though, just... In terms of power level of the two decks, Jade Druid and Raza Priest happened about the same time. There shouldn't be a massive power gap between the two. Yeah. And uh, we see Azalea keeping that Acolyte of Pain, trying to dig for some other things here. On the other side, though, Kraken looks like quite a bit of Jade stuff in hand and that Jade Blossom Gonna create a jade and get an empty crystal right into nourish. There's also coin. Lots yeah, of a uh... great curve for Kraken here. The yeah. arcane tyrant as well to get some stats on the board next to the nourish. Yeah, these options don't seem super great. Maybe the shadow word pain to just yeah. plan on like clearing a behemoth or something. Yeah. Definitely don't think those were the kind of options that Azalea was looking for. And there's that coin no, into the ideal. Jade Blossom. It's starting. Here we go. Uh, ooh, big pickup on the top deck here, the Talon Priest. Yeah. That minion would probably still be pretty good in today's Hearthstone. I, I think so, yeah. But that was a great pickup, like you said. Now is, I, I think, going to create a little bit more... Uh, flexibility here for Azalea, try to power through some of these draws and healing and just maybe getting on board, being able to push a little bit of damage and maybe can work towards closing out the game, even if there isn't that Raza or the uh, the hero drawn, but that might be a little bit of a of a tall task once Kraken right. really gets Azalea's these jades going. Two chances at a Raza, well, three, yeah. right? Play the novice. Heal the cleric and then the top deck. Still no Raza yet in the Raza Priest. <laughs> yeah. Kind of a key card. <laughs> you don't say. <laughs> and of course, as expected, um, since 2014 up until 2023, does Druid have five mana? Druid plays Nourish. Absolutely. Yep. Uh, not yeah, that... <laughs> ramping, though, in this case. Uh, we, we've often seen Druid ramp, but the double tyrant and loading up on yeah. resources definitely works out well for Kraken. Yeah. Oh, and the pyro pickup is pretty interesting. No way to really go about getting a, a massive heal for a lot of draw, but the pyro and the cleric has always been kind of a an interesting interaction. Mm-hmm and draw, like, the whole deck in a lot of cases with the right cards. Yeah. Here we've got a Glimmer Root to see the options. Spreading Plague, Bog Beam, and it Cenarian is. Ward. It is open list, so it's uh, it's easier to guess <laughs> yes. when you know the other ones weren't run. Absolutely. 
And interestingly as well, I do want to point out these uh, arcane tyrants. Uh, we are playing this, you know, Hearthstone history style decks. Uh, history has shown that in the past, priests had a difficult time removing uh, minions with four attack and the Shadow Word Pain not doing anything here against those arcane Very tyrants. True. The pain does do a great job against this Jade Behemoth, which may it have does. been the reason for the pick early on. Um, and Azalea can essentially clear up this board. Still waiting on the Raza, though. Yeah. And really unfortunate, too, picking up the Circle of Healing right after the Cleric just went down. So no Wild Pyro Circle of Healing for Massive Draw as well. So a lot of options in hand, a lot of card draw, and just still trying to find the most important cards that make the deck go. At the same time, it's it's tricky on the priest side because you don't want to use too many cheap spells yeah. um, or cheap anything. You want to save them for the turn that wins the game. Well, yeah, that and... I think this in particular is definitely a deck where you really want to be careful of drawing too many things all at once too, because if you fill your hand and you burn Raza <laughs> or you burn that hero card, yeah. you're in burn a lot Shadow of trouble. Burn Shadow Reaper Anduin Raza <laughs> Priest is, is yeah. not a good priest. So I kind of like this setup from Azalea, just kind of taking it a little bit slower, managing the hand size, and just going to go for a potential pop off later. But yeah. Turn seven and none of those key cards yet yeah, feels pretty bad. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe it's just time to drop an acolyte in the Thalnos or something. Try to get some draw. Azalea gonna just go a little bit wider on this board and say, "I'll, I'll pick up the Rasa. It's coming." Yes, yeah. <laughs> just believe. Just gotta believe. But you know, on the other side now, there's a lot of removal. Uh, for Kraken, double swipe. There's uh, Wrath, the Spreading Plague of Zone. Fandral zone. pickup. Uh, yeah. He's he's in Standard now, by the way, but he's way too bad to play in Standard. <laughs> yes. But uh, at one point, this is a pretty good card. Yeah. But these, uh, these swipes, pretty interesting. We haven't seen swipe in Standard for a while. Of course, they are playing these uh, older variants. And yeah, swipe was uh, a pretty big like key component uh for quite a while for druid but starting to get a little bit more uh jades out here only building up a jade jade to a three three so not terribly large big green men yet yep not too threatening but that's okay the next jade is an even larger green man and so on we go uh pretty rough though for the priest has to be said it's turn eight no raza no anduin just waiting yeah. can keep just incrementally clearing things finally yeah. out comes the acolyte of pain uh to try to get a little bit more card draw so multiple card draw minions on the board now for azalea yeah, great little setup there as well. I love the the cute little play of taking the the poison spider, and killing off the the jade with it. Pretty pretty well played there. Uh, but on the other side Absolutely. now, Kraken find, finding some more ramps, some more. Uh, not much really, because at this point I definitely point, had to ramp... hover over Mire Keeper to find out what it did. It's like, yeah. what, what is that card? Uh, it doesn't look great. Yeah. <laughs> But uh, yeah, we're just seeing a point where actually both players have drawn through more than half of their decks. Uh, it's late game. It's turn nine for each side. <laughs> and they're just like, where, where's my good stuff? Yeah, yeah, bo both of them, really. I mean, both of them just going for some pretty weak and maybe medium at best sized bodies and nothing else is not what you would expect from either of these decks. When you think J Druid, yeah. you think of like nine nines, <laughs> ten tens, right? Like all sorts of stuff uh, that you think of a big spreading plague board that's just terrorizing the enemy. No, none of that happening here, but yes, Coon the Forgotten the, King. Here, it's <laughs> develop a seven seven just for free and wild right. growth because it's a card draw. 
That's uh, right. A little bit of desperation. Ooh. There's a good one, finally. Maybe we see a little bit of card dump here. Yeah. Swipe and Mark of the Lotus getting played. Yeah. It'll burn one card, right? If he plays UI on the next turn, but that's that's fine, right? How long do you want to wait? Yeah. The Raza Priest wants to machine gun kill you, and they have 12 cards in deck. So I like this move here. Yeah. Uh, emoting an oops, what did he attack <laughs> versus the minion before I... the buff? Yeah, yep. it's like a... it... yeah, it could have survived. It would have lived as a 4-1. Yeah. A very minor mistake that probably won't change an outcome. Yeah, at this point with these draws, I don't suspect that it will, but I mean, you know, that's still four damage. Uh, I feel like I can mentally like see Azalea rolling his eyes uh, oh, yeah, at these just... draws. Like, oh my God, are you kidding me? I, Lot of I 11 mean, for Raza and Anduin. I don't blame him. I don't blame him. I would be too. <laughs> I'd be like, are you serious? Like, <laughs> come on. Bottom third of the deck. Let's. Just, just get the cards. Just give me, give me my things here. Oh no, this is interesting. There's a decent option here: Fandral, Jade Idol, Swipe. Yeah. Swipe face clears the Soul Priest. Play the Fandral. Get I a Jade like Idol, more stuff in hand, and you don't burn a card off of UI. Yeah, yeah. This is still a very powerful turn, an absolutely great setup, and makes for, like you said, that better ultimate infestation follow-up as well so it's, it's like a two-part setup i i like it a lot there's the, the shit and even Brandon. larger green man so anduin finally coming down um yes doesn't clear a board and isn't a zero mana hero power not which azalea wanted but yeah. still it's one of the important cards surely raza will show up eventually yeah i mean it still is part of a setup and it's still putting a clock on flying kraken right there's there's still that potential of a lot of uh, hero powers coming out true uh <sighs> valen also doubles so yeah oh wow and there's, there's the, raza the raza right on cue uh valen was doing what Is... 10 damage 12 damage with button it's not enough for lethal yeah um but azalea's health total is really being pressured here it is is there a way that Azalea Looking can at... clear to prevent 15 from dying? on the other side? Um, probably something <sighs> like a Raza Pyro Spirit Lash. Yeah. Because you can you can ping with the Void Form over and over too, and Spirit mm -hmm. Lash is huge. I think mm -hmm. I'd rather see Raza get played first. Yeah. Yep, looks there like Azalea goes. agrees. And then just calculating how to best avoid all the pressure. Yeah. Great setup, though. I really like the ordering this turn, setting up to capitalize on that Spirit Lash. Still try to clear some of this off. All right, so 10 off. A little bit less, like a three off, or um, seven off, now five off for Kraken. Yeah. Gonna lead with the armor gain. Uh, and also it's free with the Nourish in hand, essentially, to get the mana back if he was going to play Nourish. An even larger man! <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they just keep growing! <laughs> more draw, yeah. more jade cards coming in hand. There's that uh, mind control tech that I mentioned. Again, this is this is not the matchup that uh, that mind control tech is going not to quite. be helpful. An in. even larger man. An even <laughs> larger man. Here we go. Look at that. They've now changed card art for the last time uh, because yep. they have been uh, properly bigified. Is that a word? I'm gonna go with that's a word. It's a word now. <laughs> if it wasn't. It is now. Uh, is this enough here for Azalea? Four, six, sixteen. Yeah, it's, it's just a little bit off. Uh, maybe rescue God, me, Kazakis. It's a great draw off the top. Mm-hmm. 
could just start with it. See what you get first before <laughs> using a hero power. Properly, or... you, you like <laughs> properly bigified Simba. I'm glad you, I'm glad you like it. <laughs> all right, those are some quick picks. I didn't see yeah. uh, what all of them were. There was a polymorph okay. and a damage. Yeah, deal five damage, polymorph a random enemy minion. Uh, so now it looks like Azalea, okay, going to ping down that 4-2. It gets fairly out of lethal range, right? Oh, Polymorph random. It might not. Uh, it didn't hit the better one. Yeah. So that is lethal now for Kraken because of the mark of the Lotus in hand. Yeah. If it had hit the other one, I think Azalea had potentially one more turn to try to go off. But Jade yeah. threw it. Comes out on top. Yeah, I I don't know if the game would have gone that way if Azalea didn't unfortunately draw those really important key cards <laughs> really, really Yeah, they late. were really buried <laughs> in the deck. Um, it probably looked pretty good for Raza Priest uh, until, you know, the important cards hid in the bottom 12. Yeah. Uh, but there you have it. Jade Druid knocks out Raza Priest.